They always wear masks and everything. Look at this. Boom. What's going on guys? Ladies. Rocking out with the one and only Philly Dom. Oh yeah. We in the neighborhood of uh, Long Island, Queens. I don't know what that sound is. Golly, that's an irritating sound. It's a, um, there must be a triple dipple problem going on. But let's turn the camera around. You know you're in New York City when you hear all that. We're crossing the street right now. As you can see, Long Island, Queens, and we're going towards uh, Queens Bridge. We cross this street real quick. That was an irritating sound. Look at that. Over that way is Manhattan right there. All right, let's go around. Let's check out these uh, migrant shelters. Or shelters where migrants are at. Oh, that almost ran me over. Golly. Yeah, I'll make sure the focus is good. I put it on another camera setting, so I'm just trying to see how it works on this other setting. But uh, we're making our way towards one of the shelters. I'm by myself today. Big Hawk is under the weather. So keep him in your prayers. Big Hawk is under the weather. He should be all right soon. We were supposed to go hang out the day and record, but once again, I'm by myself. Cross the street over there. That's Queens Bridge. Project's right there. Shout out to Nas. Anytime I pass, I'll give a shout out to Nas. And I give a shout out to Mob Deep and Roxanne Shante. And the list goes on. Let me know who I miss from Queensbridge. Also, shout out to, uh, woo! Shout out to, uh, I can't believe I forgot these rappers that are from Queens. Jamaica Queens, uh, Tribe Called Quest. Okay, let's keep going. 
Okay, we're coming up on one of the migrant shelters right there. A couple months ago, they told me that was a regular shelter. See, that's another thing. Let me talk to you guys, man. There's a lot to talk about. A lot to unpack. A lot of people will be complaining and like talking about this and I'll talk about that. But the homeless people that that are in um their system stay in hotel shelters too. I want you guys to know that. Not all of them, but some of them do say in nice facilities like hotel shelters. Hotel shelters as well. So it's not just for the migrants. That's something else that the news is not saying and people are getting the Mr. Screwed. And you can ask anybody in New York City to fact check me on this. They have shelters that were once hotels that they use for the homeless. That's why I think they got that idea of putting the, the migrants in um, hotels. Because we're walking up on one right now. This one I'm always in debate. I'm not sure if it's a migrant shelter or is a regular shelter. Right there. But like I say, even regular shelters have migrants staying in them. Not all of them, but some of them. And I would guess, because the neighborhood this shelter is in right here, Queensbridge, would be one of them. For sure. But I've talked to them there, and they've denied it to me, and they told me that it was a shelter just for the homeless. But they've been moving people around. They've been doing different things. You can do it. You can do it. They've been moving people around. They've been doing different things. So you never know what's the real deal out here in New York City. You really never know what the real deal is. They'll tell you one thing and they'll do something else. And this is an outsider from Philly that's, coming, that's been here recently. So they have the scooters here, you see them. We have the scooters. Boom. And I hear some people speaking Spanish. Like I said, some of them are mixed. Some of them are mixed. They got somebody in the window still right there. So you never know. You never know. But these are the scooters. Boom. But you don't have to be a migrant just because you speak Spanish either. But I hear them speaking Spanish over there. But like I said, they mix them in together and that's something the news never says. The scooters are here. Uh, I always look for the military too, but I don't see them quite yet. There you go. So somebody let me know if this one is a migrant shelter or a regular shelter. But like I said, they're mixed. They mix them in between the bunches. They're mixed in there. They're mixed in there. So they definitely have them mixed among each other. So I'm going to guess it's a regular shelter because that's what they told me but they put migrants in that facility right there as well and they do that in some and you can you can fact check me on it and i'm one of the few people that talk about this i really rarely hear anybody talk about that let you see again from across the street that's it right there so i'm assuming it's migrant families they're not going to put actual like solo migrants in there but they'll put families in there i don't know what he's doing i guess he works there so they it's like they put migrant families in there yeah we're walking to queen's bridge Yeah, yeah. I was... No, no. I do YouTube videos, so I don't know documentary. Yeah. Philly Dom. Y'all gotta check out the channel. Philly Dom. Philly Dom. Yeah. Yeah, check it out. Check it out. All right.
Yeah. Man, we passed through this crowd of people real quick. Oh. Anybody got anything to say about Excuse me, So, you guys let me know what you think of that shelter right there. Like I said, I gave you my opinion. I know I'm 100% right. It's probably a regular shelter that they have regular homeless people there, but they also keep migrants in there as well, migrant families. I'm 100% sure because New York is completely out of space. They're running out of space to put the migrants, so they have to put them wherever they can put them at. And that would be a smart place to put them at. Okay, we coming down here. I wanted to go to Manhattan today, but since Big Hawk couldn't go to Manhattan, I was like, let me just keep it local. So I was like, I'll do this video. We'll see what's going on with the migrants. And then I'll do a... Uh, I'll do a live as well today. That's where New York has turned into Scooter, Scooter New York. Street right here and this is Queensbridge projects right here where Nas is from Queensbridge project I swear I must have did more videos here than anybody else in this neighborhood but this is a hotbed for the migrant shelters it's so easy for me to do these videos in here because there's so many in the neighborhood and I live in Astoria Queen it's only like 10 minutes away from here. 15 minutes, 15, 15 minutes, 20 minutes walking. Everybody just hanging out. Over there. Uh, let me see something, but I already know it's a shelter. It's another one like right, right there as well. And that one, we're going to go. Uh, on a notorious block or street where all the shelters are at. If anybody knows any other one in the area, let me know. I don't know what they're doing over there. Everybody's hanging out over there. Let me know. Don't forget you rocking out with the one and only Philly Tom. Oh, yeah. I heard the other day that some migrants caught, got caught. They were squ squatting, squatters. And um, where were they at, man? I think this happened in the, in the Bronx, the Boogie Down Bronx. <laughs> so they found them with weapons and drugs. Uh, this is crazy. This is, so they had locked up like, like eight, eight or nine migrants. There's so many stories now, like it's depressing talking about it. But I, like I said, I'm gonna keep putting these videos out. I'm gonna keep doing my thing, but it's depressing now, man. It's depressing, it's depressing. Once again, this is, Oh, somebody must have got shot. Oh, wow. This is crazy. Wow. Oh, Peter, huh? Wow. So let's, um, we got a lot of ground to cover in this area. All right, let's go across town here. Yeah, everybody hanging on the corner over there. Uh, 
uh, across the street. Got a little restaurant around here on the street where they all hang at. This is a van and they set up food. They sit there, then they set up the food and everything. So this is the migrants in the neighborhood. This is how they survive and everything. You get exclusive from the one and only Philly Dom. Also here is a place where they can wash their clothes. This is very very convenient place for them right here. But they all sit there, they eat their food there. This is it. This is one of the facilities right here. This one, I don't even know how many floors they have. This is crazy. And like I said, this is like Migrant Central right here. Another facility where they stay at right here. Like I said, some of these are regular shelters too. I know they're migrant shelters, but some of them are mixed. And a lot of people don't tell you that. It's a breezy day out here, man. Really breezy day. Whew. That good. See the scooters again. And like I said, they also use. Man, this is freezing, man. The, the temperature done dropped all of a sudden. This is bikes and stuff like that. This is another place. I don't see the, the military. Some of them still had a military. Some of them don't. I'm confused. But this is definitely one of their places right here. And if we go down there, they have another little restaurant, you know, where they, they hang out and they sell their food. They're getting real comfortable in this neighborhood. So I wouldn't be surprised if I wouldn't be surprised. I wouldn't be surprised if uh, Queens, New York, would be the first uh, first neighborhood, like for the Venezuelans. There's a lot of Venezuelans in this neighborhood. That would be like uh, Little Caracas. Well, not everybody, but some of them in this area, Venezuelans. Obviously, I told you this is a migrant stronghold, but. <laughs> So y'all hanging out. Yeah. Um, the other day when I was walking down this way, they had uh, the Venezuelan swag. I don't see it today. But you see them fixing the scooters and stuff? This is like a real business, fixing scooters and stuff. Like a real business. So we passing through. Oh. oh, he's fixing the scooter. Wow. So we'll keep the kids are playing. Another little restaurant right there. Maybe one day I should try that food to see how it tastes. Here. Right there, out here. I'm a sassy nigga. Woo. Oh, they got it right there. Boom, the flag right there. Boom, look at that. Nice. Cool. Look at that. Told you, I can't make this stuff up. 
I want to make this stuff up. Ooh. I don't know what they bring across, what they. Okay, some more. All right, he's hanging out right there. So now we're going to make a left. <laughs> right here. Now these two buildings right here, I think they're all migrants inside here because uh, they got military there. I tell you, man, it's, they got a little cold, man. <laughs> the, the later it gets, it gets a little cold. Got a little cold. So like the difference between, like I said, when I'm in Manhattan, a lot more people hanging out and stuff, but the migrants here, they hang out. Probably some across the street over there, but it's not the same, yeah. It's a little chilly today too, but Manhattan ain't more hanging out. It's more traffic, more people. This one of the spots right here. Before I picked up his kid. Got the security right there, US military, yep, see? There's all migrants in here. I see them in there. You know, you can see. I'll step back for a second and let you see everything. I feel it's good right here. Oh no. I might got the air on, I must got the heat on or something. This is it. All right here, look at how they pile the bikes up. Look at this. <laughs> New York is definitely different now. Look at all the trash, man. Look at this. We got security. We got security right there. Well, US military looking at me right now. We'll let you see everything. Everything that's going on. Ooh. <sighs> They see me out here, but they not giving me too much of a problem. Okay, I ain't playing. All right, let's go back over down here. And then it's a hotel at the corner right here. But this is a, this is a Marriott, but this is not used as no shelter hotel. This is just a regular, what was it? Town Place Suites by Marriott, it's a regular hotel here, so this is not a, this one is not a migrant shelter, so I want to, I always gotta be specific. It's one right here now, I think they using this one right here. U.S. military didn't come out, but they just sat in there. Then you got one. right here probably uses a see a couple scooters you see the scooter right there getting charged up and uh, got some family coming out of there so this is probably like a regular how you guys doing probably like a regular shelter but like I said they put migrant families in there with the local families and that's something that they don't tell you guys so we're gonna walk back down
and double back over this way. So I just want you guys to see what's going on. Make sure you get a video like and share the video. I'll keep pushing these videos out. I'll keep showing you guys what's going on. Show you the different facilities. We're gonna go back through that one street that we went through. Let me show you something here. This is crazy. This is kind of airy. Huh, what's there? Huh. All right. In front of us right now, this is Queensbridge Projects right here. And we're gonna make this this left. Whew. The grocery store right here. It's investigating, so we'll we'll go to that same street again one more time. Look at this, everything is Venezuelan in the neighborhood. Look at this. I can't make, oh no, this is another type of flag. I was assuming too much. Yeah. See everything that's going on. Now they got the bikes piled up, everything. So you see them across the street. This gave me your feel like if you was in the neighborhood, how it would feel. The bikes. There you go. This is raw exclusive footage, man. Only one to do this. The one and only Philly Down. Let's keep going straight. And we passed this one a little earlier. Now you see it again. I never double back to these places, but I'll keep putting it out there. Y'all share these videos on Facebook so y'all can see what's going on with the migrant crisis in New York City and what the neighborhoods are looking like. Nah, lead us a, a lot of floors too. Wow. On this windy day, Freezing out here on this windy day. Woo. And I already got abandoned cars on the street too that people like sleep in their cars and stuff. It's a lot going on in uh in New York City. There you go. Scooterville, huh? <laughs> Make sure you guys so you get a video like and make sure you share the videos on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, wherever you can put it at. I don't know. Make up a website and put it on there. So I'm sure like some of the migrants are, you know, squatting using these cars and stuff, especially summertime is coming up. Summertime is coming up, so it's like a lot more easy to hang out and everything. Look at this, man, yeah. Look at this. Oh. I said people are squatting in the cars. It's a little fish out here. What's up, my brother? Chilling, man, chilling, respect, man. This is a car. Look at the squatter, look at this man, look at this. In the real streets of New York City, baby. Queens to be exact. Whew. They always wear masks and everything. Look at this, boom.
There's a couple guys there, so I don't want to put the camera on them. Too many people, so I just put it on me for a second. The one and only Philly Town. Man, it's freezing, man. Not cold freezing. I just don't like cold weather, guys. So this really, like, bothers me. This really bothers me. Once again, shout out to Big Hawk, man. He's under the weather. He would have been with me today. We're going to link up next week. And like I was telling people, I don't know. That place right there is a hotel. It looks like they're going to make that a migrant shelter as well. Raw footage, man. Constant, every day. Just to keep you guys informed what's going on with the maggot crisis and let you see what's going on. So anything new happen, I will let you know. Like I said, sometimes it's really hard to do these videos because I'm a travel vlogger. And um, a lot of this is depressing, you know. New York is at $4 billion, the city. It's been over. Four billion dollars, four billion. Yes, you heard what I said. Four billion. I ain't started four billion taking care of the, the migrants. So we're gonna try to make it up to this other place right up the street. And that'll be that for now. Let me see if I can make it there. If I have if it makes it. And that's another place right there as well. That's uh they said it got homeless in there but I'm sure they got migrants in there as well they everywhere here everywhere and they said that's a regular shelter but I'm sure they house migrants as well okay you see the one right there I'm approaching this is the one closest going to where I live at, so. No, no tengo dinero. He wants some money from me. I don't mind, I have no change on me. Here we go. So that's it for now, guys. Walking up on this other shelter, but you might not see it. But Remember, you rocking out the one and only Philly Dom. Shout out to Big Hawk. And more and more videos to come. Boom. If you can see it, I'm walking right up 